Welcome to this spoken tutorial on item submission configuration in DSpace. In this tutorial, we will learn to configure embargo feature, submit an item with embargo, configure an item submission without a file, and submit an item without a file. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS 18.04, DSpace version 6.3, gedit text editor, and Firefox web browser. However, you may use any other web browser and text editor of your choice. To practice this tutorial, you should have a working internet connection, installed DSpace 6.3 on your system, Tomcat services should be running. Created a collection in the community. And have submitters and reviewers authority in the collection. If not, then please go through the prerequisite tutorials on this website. To follow this tutorial, you should also have knowledge of library science and familiarity with Dublin Core Metadata Standard. The files used in this tutorial are available in the Code Files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract the file before practicing. An embargo is a temporary access restriction placed on files. If the embargo is set on a file, then it is not accessible until the embargo date. ItemSubmission.xml is an item submission configuration file. The embargo feature can be configured in ItemSubmission.xml file. Let us begin to configure the embargo feature. I have opened the commands file in the gedit text editor on my machine. And I will use the same file to copy paste the commands during the demonstration. The shortcut to paste on the terminal is Shift, Ctrl and B keys. You may open this file in an editor of your choice. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on the keyboard. Ensure that you have root permissions to run the commands. Here onwards, please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command. Now, we will log in as user dspace. So type sudo space su space hyphen space dspace. If prompted, then type the password of the admin user to log in. Open itemsubmissions.xml file with this command. If prompted, type the root user password. ItemSubmission.xml file opens in the text editor. This file contains the different steps of item submission. Scroll down and locate step 4 which is to upload the item. The opening step tag and closing step tag encloses the configuration. The default configuration to upload an item is without the embargo feature. To disable the file upload without embargo, we will comment the default configuration. To do so, type lesser than exclamation mark hyphen hyphen before the opening step tag. Then type hyphen hyphen greater than after the closing step tag. Now, let us enable the embargo feature. To do that, we need to uncomment the configuration for upload item with embargo features. Type hyphen hyphen greater than before the opening step tag. Delete hyphen hyphen greater than after the closing step tag. Save and close the file. Let us rebuild DSpace to update the changes. To do so, type the following command. If prompted, type the root user password. The rebuild process may take some time depending on your internet speed. The build is successful. Now let us verify the embargo feature 
by submitting an item in the collection. Open a web browser. Go to the DSpace interface. Log in to DSpace with the submitter's authority. My DSpace interface opens up. Click on the Start New Submission button in the My DSpace section. Next, click on the drop down arrow adjacent to the collection field. Now select Articles Collection from the list of collections. Then click on the Next button below the collection field. The item submission form opens up. We have provided an article and the article's metadata in a text file for ease of practice. The same can be downloaded from the code files link on this tutorial page. Based on my metadata file, I have filled some of the fields as shown. Authors, title, date of issue, identifier, language, keywords and abstract. The next section is the upload file section. Upload the file eearticle.pdf as demonstrated in the earlier tutorials. The file upload is successful. Now click on the next button at the bottom right corner. The next page is submit file uploaded successfully. This shows information about the uploaded file. As we have enabled item submission with the embargo feature, we can see the access settings column. By default, the embargo date isn't set. So the item will be accessible immediately on archiving. Let us change the access settings, that is embargo date. Click on the Change button in the Access Settings column. Edit Bitstream Access page opens. Click on the field next to the label Embargo Date. The calendar opens up. Select the date 1 June 2021 from the calendar as shown. Next, enter the reason for the embargo as shown. Then click on the Save button at the bottom right corner to save the embargo settings. Verify all the uploaded files for the item. Then click the Next button at the bottom right corner. The next page, Submit Verify Submission, displays the information which we have entered so far. Scroll down and locate the Uploaded Files section. Observe that access to the file is allowed from the embargo date, which we set just now. Once you ensure that everything is correct, click on the Next button at the bottom right corner. Click on the I grant the license button at the bottom. Now, our item is successfully submitted. Let us log out from the submitter account. Next, let us review the submitted item. For that, log in to DSpace with Reviewer's Authority. We are now on the Reviewer's My DSpace page. The item submitted in earlier steps is now visible in the Tasks in the Pool table. Click on the Take Task button to preview the item. Click on Accept this task button to accept the task for review. The Perform Task page shows the metadata and the files submitted for the item. To view the file, click on the View or Open button next to the file name. Now, we can review the file and then close the tab. The metadata and file are found to be in order. So we will click on the Approve button to accept the item. Now, our item is successfully archived. Let us log out from the Reviewer account now. Next, let us proceed to access the item as an anonymous user. Click on the Browse tab in the navigation bar. Select Communities and Collections from the drop-down. 
scroll down and select Articles Collection. An item with the title Vehicle Speed Measurement Model for Video Based Systems is published. Let's open the item by clicking on the item title. The metadata and files of the item are displayed. Observe that the file access is restricted until the embargo date. Let us try to access the file by clicking on the View or Open button next to the file name. We are redirected to the login page. That means anonymous users cannot access the file until the embargo date. Before the embargo date, only the following users can access the item. Authorized Collection Administrator Authorized Community Administrator and DSpace Administrator So, we have now verified that the files for the item are not accessible until the embargo date. Next, let us proceed to configure item submission without a file. Open the dspace.cfg file with this command. If prompted, Type the root user password. dspace.cfg file opens in the text editor. You can use any other editor of your choice. It consists of various configurations in the key value pairs. Locate the key webui.submit.upload.required. By default, it is commented using the hash symbol and the value is set to true. Uncomment the line by removing the hash symbol. Then set the value to false as shown. Save and close the file. We have to rebuild dspace to update these changes. If prompted, type the root user password. The process may take some time to complete. dspace build is now successful. Let us proceed to submit an item without a file now. Switch to the browser and log into dspace with the submitter's authority. Click on the Start New Submission button. Now select Articles from the collection list. Then click on the Next button. The item submission form opens on the screen. For ease of practice, we have provided the metadata for an item in a text file. Based on my metadata file, I have filled some of the fields as shown. Authors, title, date of issue, identifier, language, keywords and abstract. The next section is the upload file section. As DSpace is configured for item submission without file, the button skip file upload is enabled. To skip through the file upload step, click on the Skip File Upload button and proceed further as we had done before. Now our item is successfully submitted. Let us log out from the submitter account and let us review the submitted item. Log in to DSpace with the reviewer's authority. We are now on the reviewer's MyDSpace page. The submitted item is visible in the Tasks in the Pool table. Take and accept the task as explained before. The Perform Task page shows the metadata for the item. Since we haven't uploaded any file, it displays there are no files associated with this item. Click on the Approve button to accept the item. Now our item is successfully archived. Let us log out from the reviewer account and let us proceed to access the item as an anonymous user. Click on the Browse tab and navigate to Articles Collection as shown. An item with the title One Parameter Fractional Linear Prediction is published. Open the item by clicking on the item title. The metadata of the item is shown. We see that there are no files associated with this item. So, 
we have verified the item submission without file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learnt to configure embargo feature, submit an item with embargo, configure an item submission without a file, and submit an item without a file. As an assignment, configure embargo feature and item submission without a file for your DSpace. Submit report 1A as an item and set embargo date for the item. Submit the metadata of report 1B as an item by skipping the file upload. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. DSpace Spoken Tutorial Series is funded by the National Virtual Library of India, Ministry of Culture, Government of India. This script and the video for this tutorial was contributed by Pankaj Patil from IIT Bombay. And this is Nancy Worki signing off. Thanks for joining.